to thrift a lot. Probably 95% of my wardrobe is thrifted, but I've acquired quite the collection of thrifted pants, jeans, and whatnot. Today I'm gonna to be trying on and showing you guys my thrifted pants collection. All the pants that I'm showing you are the ones that I thrifted, but aside from those, I really only think I have two pairs that I have not thrifted. As I show you these, pay attention to the brands. The brand is gonna help you find the brand of vintage jeans if you're looking on Depop, Poshmark, eBay, whatever. First one we have here, the brand is Canyon River Blues Stretch. The size five, but vintage sizes run a little different. I love the zipper details on it, and I've been getting into a little more flare pants, which these are kind of like a mid-rise. I love the zippers on this, so had to keep them. This next pair is probably my favorite pair of thrifted pants of all time. I thrifted these at the Goodwill bins, you pay by the pound, so I'm, I'm sure these were like barely a dollar. The brand is No Boundaries. I love thrifting No Boundaries. I know No Boundaries is now sold in like Walmart, but it's the old school like 90s, 2000s brand of No Boundaries that has amazing quality stuff. I love the two-tone brown patches on this. They're kind of suede. Also a mid-rise and a bit of a flare at the bottom. These ones I think are my darkest wash jeans that I own. I really love the tag on these jeans. It's Calvin Klein is the brand and it defines jean on the tab, which I just think is a nice detail. They label it as a size four, but they are very small for a size four. They definitely do fit me, but it's one of those jeans that like don't sit down for too long in them because you might bust open. I also like the raw bottom on these. I just really like the fit of these and they're really good quality. These also are pretty high up on my list of favorite pair of jeans. The brand of this is Apollo Jeans, size one slash two. Mid-rise, they have all these little button details on them on the front and down the side. I love any type of like hardware on clothing. I think it's a really nice touch. Kind of a flare as well. And I do get a lot of wear out of these. These pants, I have not actually gotten that much wear out of. I'm really determined to style them and make them part of my wardrobe. They are almost like this herringbone, two-tone brown texture. The brand is J. Jill, they're a size two, but I like the really wide leg and almost the carpenter pant accent detail with the pocket on the side. I think it definitely like spices up an outfit. Just having trouble incorporating it into outfits that I already know and love in my closet. As much as I love thrifting really vintage jeans, it's also nice sometimes to thrift like the fast fashion brands that people for some reason are already putting in the thrift store. These are actually Brandy Melville, John Galt technically. They're painter's pants, cream color. I love the little painter pants details on the side. They're very durable and sturdy, which I like. They're kind of like a straight wider leg, so they don't really make my legs look any longer. They kind of make me look stumpy. So if I'm wearing them, I'll definitely have to wear platforms. This is my second pair of thrifted like fast fashion jeans but I really do like them they're Zara I think they're just like the Zara mom jean they almost have like an 80s wash it's like a light wash but it's kind of distressed classic mom jean fit tapered leg little long on me so I roll them but I don't mind I kind of like that look I do get a lot of wear out of these so I'm glad I thrifted them these pants I get asked about all the time whenever I wear them any TikTok, anything I absolutely love them because a lot of the colors in this plaid are colors that I frequently have in my closet like styling them a lot easier the brand is a buyer the size is a size 7 they're slightly big for me I usually have to pin them in the back but it's not anything crazy they kind of fit like those Brandy Melville pants and they kind of have that same like essence to them. I love the flare leg at the bottom. They're comfy, great quality. And yeah, I'm really glad I thrifted these. These pants I only thrifted a couple months ago, but they've already become a staple in my closet. The brand is Joe Ben Bassett. It's kind of like an interesting material. It's not really stretchy. Just like, uh, I feel like the softball pants I wore were the same material as this. Just like straight black, but they flare a little at the bottom, which I think is flattering on me. They're not super long, so they kind of stop at my ankle, which once again, I think makes me look taller. I really like the stitching on this, little gold stitching. So it has a nice contrast against the black. I actually haven't worn these pair of jeans in a long time, but I really should because I like them. Once again, they're a little bit of a flare. The brand is Gap. Anytime you see Gap jeans in the thrift store, buy them. They're my absolute favorite brand of jeans to thrift. I love the pockets on these in the front. They also have fun little like Velcro pockets in the back. These are size six, which I'm usually a size two or four, so I had to take these in. They look like normal and fine, but I usually have to wear like a heel with them because they're a little long and they do have a flare. These ones, I also feel like I don't wear that much. It's only for this one little inconvenience, which I could easily fix, I just haven't, is that it's a Velcro buckle for the pants instead of just like a button. The Velcro comes off 
a lot because it's not really sticky anymore. The brand is LEI, with a nice little tab on the back, some tabs on the side. I would say these jeans here are the most worn of all time for me in my closet. Once again, they're Gap jeans. If you ever see this label, the quality of jean is going to be superb. These are my favorite, favorite jeans of all time. This is the classic Gap jean. It's a little bit of a mom fit, but it's not so tight where I feel like the crotch kind of like, like triangles in on you. It's a little bit of a looser fit around the crotch area. So it's like almost like a mix of a boyfriend jean and a mom jean, which I like. They're worn so much because they're comfortable, a great wash, and I really like the look of them. These pants definitely don't get as much wear out of them as they should. I feel like kind of challenged me a little bit in styling, but I definitely want to because they're this cream corduroy, which is really nice to be able to wear white in the winter because I know that's sometimes frowned upon. I think the corduroy kind of makes up for that and makes it more of like a wintry fall look. Size eight, which is not my size, so I probably should just sell them, but the way that they sit on me is kind of like my hip, so it's like that baggy look. I just have to find the right way to style them to provide a nice texture in an outfit, and I do really like them. I have a vintage clothing business, so usually the pants that I thrift, I will sell on my website. There are some pants that I thrift sometimes that either like fit me perfect or it were exactly what I was looking for. So I don't want to sell them, which are these. I definitely do have some great pairs of pants and jeans on my website. So that could be a place for you to look if you're looking for some good quality vintage jeans. If not, definitely check out Epaw, Poshmark, eBay, and just search these brands in. Hey y'all. I decided to add this part of the video in because I thought it could be fun and fresh. I'm gonna look on Depop and eBay to see if I can find any of these jeans. I'm doing the work for you. And if they still exist when you see this video, go snag them up. So first we're gonna start on eBay. I feel like eBay tends to be cheaper. The bidding's kind of nice. More old people use it, so it's not as like trendy. I'm gonna type in Gap jeans, women's clothes, Clothing. Let's see what we can find. I'm not a dark wash type of gal. Right off the bat, none of these are interested in me. I'm only looking at these. Yeah, you can see that's the tag that mine has. I just like don't love this wash. Ooh, these are kind of fire. Carpenter. Um, sometimes like this happens. I got to refine my search. Wait, Gap Jeans 1969. Okay, what a very specific year. Okay, no. I'll do like vintage Gap Jeans and women's clothing. Ooh, some overall. There you go. Do we have that tag? Oh my God, those are really old. Okay, these are kind of good. If you want these, snatch them up. That's pretty close to the pair that's like my everyday pair. Oh wait, oh my God, these look fire too. Look at that old tag. Okay, so vintage Gap jeans definitely is working better than... Okay, wait, these. These look great too. There's definitely some out there. I would say jeans, you're probably gonna find a better deal and a more vintage um, make on eBay. Oh wait, these are fire. Oh, no boundaries. Honestly, no offense, you're probably never gonna find those sweet jeans that I have there. I've never seen them anywhere else. Patch jeans. Ooh, these are not like mine, but these are really freaking cool. Oh my God. <gasps> these are effing sick too. And these are only $22. Okay, so I'm telling you, No Boundaries is kind of lit. A brand of jeans that I didn't show in this video, but is one that I do look up often, is Zayna D. These are like a brand that I'll thrift often, and I feel like Zayna D kind of thrived in the early 2000s, so you'll get kind of like that low, mid-rise, flare, tight beat, which I'm kind of on that wave, so I'm pretty sure all the like, jeans that are on Shein that are the patchwork are literally modeled after like the Zayna D jeans. Look at these shorts. Beauty. The other jeans that I loved are Apollo jeans. Oh my god. These are literally fire. Okay, you know, that is a vibe if you're into that vibe. <gasps> this is giving Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake. Wait, what? Did somebody do this or did they come like that? Wait, I'm kind of loving this. Although this is an easy DIY if you're interested in attempting yourself. Wait a minute, I just thrifted a pair of jeans that look like this. They're gonna be on my website. Okay, another brand. So I guess I'm not showing you the jeans that I have, the brands that I would search on eBay. Another brand is Guess. I love Guess denim. Guess vintage jeans. Look at how old that is. You can tell she's quality. Oh, now these are nice. <gasps> Look at that tag. I really like tags. Another good brand, last but not least, Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein jeans. Sometimes there's like fine vintage Calvin Klein jeans. Okay, okay, these are good. These are good. 
Look at that. Look at that. Love. I have a couple pairs of Calvin Klein shorts. Maybe I should have included shorts in this. These are fire too. <gasps> okay, you're on that carpenter. Very great option. Um, honestly, I could like do this for hours and I do do this for hours as like a, a side distraction, like I'm watching a TV show and then I'm also searching through eBay. Let me know if that's helpful. We can, we can do this again. We really can. It's actually fun for me. So leave me a nice little comment below. We can chit chat and we'll plan another time to do this. So thanks for watching. Bye.